Hello everybody, welcome back to Sport Federation TV. My favourite time of the, the week on a Friday night is uh, talking about the sport in the Western Cape. And uh, now we're of course joined by Western Cape Athletics and we've, we've already covered a couple of uh, fantastic uh, uh, features of sports at least. Um, during the course of the show we spoke to Live Saving. They've got events happening this weekend at the Sunrise Beach. You want to make sure that you get out there. Men's netball is doing fantastic. They just had the South African Men's Netball Championships. That took place in Paul uh, just a few days ago. And of course, uh, we spoke to the folks from the World of Darts. Day when I went overseas to Japan to go compete overseas. So we really are making sure that we're covering sport across the Western Cape. But joining me now to talk about a little bit about little athletics, which is something that's new to me because I've never heard about little athletics. I just know athletics. I know all the Usain Bolts and the guys like that. I've got Ricardo Jafta and Chelsea Samuels with me. Ricardo, welcome to Sport Federation TV. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, you're, of course, a, um, a coordinator, planning and working on the event, an intern coordinator at Western Province Athletics. Yeah, I'm basically behind the scenes with the logistics, the whole setup, organizing the stuff with uh, my development committee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we are quite a vibrant and exciting young new group. It is going to run this new series for this right, year. You've got your hands full. You've got a lot of work for work on your hands. And now I've got Chelsea with us. Chelsea Samuels. Chelsea, welcome to Sports Federation TV. You're looking lovely tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. And you're a choreographer. Yeah. All right. Now, just give me a rundown of exactly what does a choreographer do? Because I, when, I, when I hear the word choreography, I'm thinking dancing. I am. I am a dancer, but I'm also a sprinter for Western Province. All right. Um, basically, I'm the choreographer of this event, which is... Middle presentation is obviously special to whoever does win, so you obviously want it to be really amazing and special for them. Yeah. So that's basically when we, what I do in this um, little athletics committee. You put all the finishing touches, yes. you make a glitz and glam, yeah, basically. bring it to life. Yeah. I think you should be working for me. <laughs> uh, Ricardo, let's talk to you a little bit about this event itself, Little Athletics, and I know we've got a one minute video clip here. In fact, maybe before we look at this clip, just tell us a little bit about what, what is this initiative about? Yeah, it's a, it's a new initiative that we are running for the past few years. It's quite new within uh, the region. Yeah, it's just to get the community or the young kids, school-going athletes who's not part of the club system, uh, get them out, out of the comfort zones to come and participate. It's like for an off-season off competition. Where we'll so when is the normal athletic season? No, it's usually in, in, S in South Africa, it starts usually from January to yeah. April. Okay. And you will have your off-season program, you will have your pre-season program. Right. So th yeah. this is basically an off-season com competitive program for okay. kids between the ages 8 to 14. Yeah. So where they can come out and have some fun in running, jumping, Lacking. throwing. Yeah. yeah, just to be competitive, but yeah. within a fun environment. But also to keep them busy when there's no season club yes. activities and that it gives them a, uh, another reason another reason to be active in the world of sport yeah and so the coaches can also come out and to see how the techniques is especially in the technical areas where your, your sprinting yeah. and the, your jumping events so they can work on the techniques go back to the drawing board and work on the techniques from there well i like it because they don't get up to nonsense at home <laughs> so they can just go do sport let's take a look at uh, the little insert that you brought us Ricardo, um, tell us a little bit about what we were looking at there. 
So yeah, that was basically your, like I said, your, your girls under 13. Yeah. Uh, was competing the 200 it's from last year's event. So this year we we planned something more in the fun and where you can enjoy yourself. So it's like a bigger package. We have your cheerleaders, we have uh, your live DJ yeah. and everything. There will be like your medal presentation where you will end up. And when, when is this event? Uh, it's starting this coming weekend, the 14th of October. And then it runs for a couple of wee weeks? Yeah, so we will have four events. Uh, so we will have the three events like your, your series, like a league, league run. So it's the 14th of October, 11th of November and 18th of November. Okay. So in order to qualify for the championship on the 8th of November, 8th of December, sorry, and uh, so you must be able to compete in two out of the three events. All right. And but still, you must try to qualify to be in the top eight. So you keep up all the points and the rankings as you go through the each week. Uh, yeah, it's 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 you got ba basically yeah. you got to come to 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 play. Yeah, you must come to the event yeah. and to do your best. Uh, we will work on a time on a time system. Yeah, we will get the say your fastest eight athletes, especially in the running. In the jumping or the field events, we'll get the, yeah. the guys who are jumping the furthest or the highest or throwing okay. the discus. All right, Chelsea, let's bring you into the picture now. Um, it, it all starts this weekend. Yeah. Uh Kraft, am I right? Yes. All right, and now uh, you're, you're the coordinator, but you're also a sprinter for... Um, but we're not going to talk to you about your sprinting tonight. Uh, tell us a little about what, what the folks can expect then uh, when, they, when they come to the event. Okay, so the kids definitely need to expect their fun. Yeah. It is competitive, obviously, like every child has a competitive streak in them, but we're basically trying to raise awareness for kids to know that there is something that you can do with the talent that you have. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there is sort of facilities that can help you. So WPA, for example, is going to find, if we find a kid that has talent but doesn't have a place to explore and develop their talent, we will help you in that sense. So that's what this event's about. Yeah. But it's basically just going to be a whole lot of fun for kids between the age of 8 and 15. And tell us a little bit about that fun, because, I mean, as, an, as a choreographer, yeah. you're, you're planning all sorts of things, yes. like music and entertainment and yes. dancing. and I don't know what. Tell us, I want to know what to expect, because I'm not going to be able to get be there, because I've got to, I've got to go to a sevens <laughs> rugby thing that's happening in Goodwood. Yeah. yeah, no, so basically in between each event, what I managed to do is, as the fact that I'm a dancer, I made my dance company come and um, sort of choreograph little fun pieces between the kids and the event. So after an event, if they are sprinting, whoever wins, we will make a little game with them and then have them actually just realize that it's not just about competing yeah. and that if you can't dance and we make you dance, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, <laughs> but I mean, you're going to have fun instead of just be like, I'm here to win. Yeah. I'm here to, because some So you bring a little bit of that. entertainment yes, into basically. sport. Yeah. yeah. You, you say you've got your own dance club as well. No, I am part of a dance company. You're part yes. of a dance club. All right. And some of the dancers from the dance club are coming to the yes, event? Yes, okay. they're coming to the event to support, um, obviously, me, because I'm a splinter, yeah. and they obviously know yeah. that, that I have two sides to me, but to make the event fun for kids yeah. that obviously have the talent as splinters or jumpers or. Um, yeah. Throwers. And, uh, and, uh, and from, I mean, no, no, no event like this really works unless there's some nice music. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you we, must have like a mobile DJ. We do have a DJ organized, and obviously yeah. the dancers is going to be the people who will tell the DJ, okay, now you pump the music, now you chill it a bit, now yeah. you, like, so that the, so that the, um, the sport becomes more of an enjoyment for kids yeah. than a pressure. Yeah, and for the so. people who are watching as well. Yes, they're, they're definitely going to be more involved. Run, yeah, because yeah. obviously if it's a dead event and just music and like the music does do a lot for an audience to interact with what's going on. Yeah. Because obviously if there's music playing and there's an event going on, you want to know why, wh why is this music pumping? Oh, because people are sprinting and now the music's soft because someone is in their starting blocks yeah. and like they didn't That's to focus when you have now. to quiet it yeah. down. You tell the DJ, like, down. And chill it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Pump it up again. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. And what about uh, from an MC perspective? Um, me, have, I've, I've done some of this uh, <laughs> 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 on a professional level. So uh, um, I'd, I'd be curious to know because you've got to have someone on a microphone yeah. who's keeping the crowd alive. Yes, we do. So um, we do have our MC organized. Yeah. He definitely is a big part of the event when it comes to interacting between yeah. the kids who know, wh know where they need to go, knowing they're being announced, 
and between the audience knowing what is happening yeah. and for them to also just enjoy it and have fun you need someone that can interact and sort of hold an audience yeah, yeah. so we do have someone like that so it's going right. to be so the whole day is uh, infotainment basically yeah, <laughs> yeah sportainment <laughs> sportainment is yeah. good just to just to add on what Charles said is that because people have this perception that athletics is like boring and becoming mm. dead so we want to start with the just a new with the younger guys bring athletics a lot to bring athletics alive again oh, well, yeah. I don't know if the Diamond League guys in Europe would agree with you on that there is yeah no we're adding <laughs> a <laughs> twist you're adding a twist we're adding yeah. a twist because <laughs> like Varsity Cup has pulled it off yeah. and yeah. it is serious but it's also fun it has to so be we want to add that twist for kids to understand that it's not just about the way IAAF shows it to yeah. be like serious and focused and stuff you can you can do that but still have the most fun yeah. So yeah, that's what we do. So just give me the rundown again quickly, Ricardo. Where and when and who can come and how much does it cost to get in and and so on. Yeah. Uh, so the first event will be this coming weekend, the 14th of October. The second one will be uh, the 11th of November, and the 18th of November. Right. And uh, the championship will be either the 8th of December or the 9th of December. Right. Yeah. Uh, so our central ve main venue will be at Eth Fergiskra yeah. in Ethlone. Are all of the events going to play out at, at Fegis? Yes. Okay. It's a fantastic and track there, nice track. Of course, that's Fegis that we were watching on the video clip there. Yeah, so every, every child or athlete can come between the ages of 8 and 14. Yeah. They can come, they will enter on the day, just an hour before the, before the race start, enter all your events start. You can come and it's free of charge, it's free by the gate. Everyone come, we like to uh, encourage the community to come and support this initiative that WPA is running. All right. Ricardo, thanks for joining us here on Sports Federation TV. I think it's going to be a jaw. Uh, fantastic for the kids. Yeah. I think the kids are looking at those kids. Are there. They're going to have <laughs> absolute fun. You know, so, so well done. You uh, know, thank you. I, I think you've got a great future ahead of yourself uh, as an events coordinator. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And Chelsea, as a choreographer, there's a job waiting for you here at Sports Federation <laughs> TV. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to snap you up. Yeah. So good luck. I'm sure that you're going to bring a whole lot of gears and fun and spirit and that big smile uh, <laughs> to the to the event over yeah. the next couple of weeks. Lekkerman, I think Thank it's great you. fun. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank right, you. folks, that's a wrap from Sport Federation TV. Um, we've had a fantastic time here um, tonight talking about uh, life saving and men's netball and darts and the little little athletics. And remember, you can get down to Fakis Crawl this weekend. It's going to be fantastic. And just a reminder for those of you that have not entered yet, 33090, get your mobile phone. You just get your cell phone out, 33090, punch the word Bash Shoes, the old cool drink that we used to, oh, we, we all know Bash Shoes. It's been around for so long. Um, you want to win yourself a case of Bash Shoes? 33090, send the word Bash Shoes um, uh, to us on the short code and you put yourself in the mix to win a case of uh, Bash Shoes. Um, that you can collect. Right, my name is JP Nordia. I hope you've enjoyed yourself this evening as we've looked after the world of sport. Um, uh, Lenuk Tachetti will be back with you next week. Um, and uh, remember, for those of you that got sporting events out there, uh, keep, it, uh, keep us informed so we can uh, cover your events for you. That's a wrap. Have yourself a fantastic sporting weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>